On July 4th, 2012, physicists in Geneva, Switzerland, made an earth-shattering announcement. They discovered what we call the Higgs boson, a particle, an elementary piece of nature that we've been searching for for over 40 years. And around the world, hundreds of millions of people tuned in and said to themselves, what in the world is a Higgs boson? It's a very good question. The Nobel Prize winning physicist Leon Letterman once called the Higgs boson the God particle. And for years thereafter, physicists have been shaking their fists at him because the Higgs boson has nothing whatsoever to do with God. But it is very, very important. It's important enough that the world spent over $9 billion to build the Large Hadron Collider, the most complicated machine ever built, to search for the Higgs and particles like it. It's a ring, 17 miles around, 300 feet underground, that goes beneath the border of France and Switzerland. If you were walking around in the fields, you would see just mountains and fields and cows. But underneath your feet, there would be this machine that takes protons and accelerates them close to the speed of light, smashes them together to make new particles. And we found one, the Higgs boson. I'm Sean Carroll. I'm a physicist at Caltech, and I was there in Geneva on July 4th, 2012 for the Higgs discovery announcements. I saw the young physicists camping out overnight, waiting for good seats in the seminar room. I heard the standing ovation when the announcements of the discovery were made. Five standard deviations. I saw people get a little emotional, a little teared up at this discovery that we've waited decades to achieve. In one sense, the Higgs is the end of an era. In my new book, The Particle at the End of the Universe, I try to explain why this was so important, why these smart, dedicated people put so much effort into finding this little particle. What it is is the completion of the standard model of particle physics, the theory that explains the atoms that make up you and me and everything we see in our everyday lives. But understanding that part doesn't give us all of the answers to the questions we have. We still want to know, why is there more matter than antimatter in the universe? What are the dark matter and the dark energy that make up so much stuff in the universe? Where did the universe itself come from? What we're hoping is that the Higgs boson gives us a new tool to answer these questions. That as one era ends, another one begins. It's as if we've been in one room for all of our lives doing physics, and the discovery of the Higgs is a door into the next room. It'll be very interesting to see what's inside.